edit that out. What's up guys? Welcome to XCCG. I'm Mike. And I'm Chris. And today we finally got some Unity of Destruction and Unity of the Saiyans. Or of Saiyans. Yeah, we can't read. Uh, so yeah, it took us a little while to get this video out, but hey, we're here. We're going to open some Destroyer Kings since apparently this is the only way that we can actually open Destroyer Kings without spending, what, 100 something a box? $100 on a box, yeah. So anyway, what we're going to do, we've got eight packs all together. Uh, we're going to quickly go through the special cards in it, and then while we're kind of going through that, one of us will be opening all the boxes, and we're just going to open a bunch of packs for you guys. So yeah, here we go. So we'll open these two real quick. Apparently there's an easy way to open these, but it doesn't actually exist. <laughs> oh god. I feel like I'm going to tear everything. I mean, these packs work for uh, weight and gold, apparently, so... Weight and gold. No. Why is it? Oh, that's a number. I don't know what that is. Okay, so yeah. We'll put the packs off to the side. As I said, we will quickly go over these. I will start with the Unity of Destruction. If I can actually get these things open. Trash can so far away. All right, so we're going to start off with Janimba, Resident Agent of Destruction. Now, he is a four, and this is one of the dual color cards. So, you he pay, what is it? I can't tell the light. Uh, one yellow, two blue. All right. So, one yellow, two blue. He uh, costs one for 10,000 combo points. He is a 20K. So, he has barrier, and he has the new Ages Blue Yellow, which means once per turn, if your opponent's, if it's your opponent's turn, you can activate this during the defense step by placing cards in your hand in your drop area that match the color specified by Aegis. Choose up to two of your energy and then switch them to active mode. So basically, you take a yellow card and a blue card from your hand, put them in the drop, flip two of your energy over. Cool. You also have energy exhaust. If this card is placed in an energy area, it must be placed there in rest mode. So it kind of slows down, but remember, I believe you can tap it for blue or yellow, correct? Blue or yellow. Okay. Right. That's what I think. Uh, so then the auto, when this card activates, Aegis, uh, if there are no evil incarnate cards in play in your battle area, other than this card, place one card from the top of your opponent's deck in the drop. So adding a little bit mill, so keeping up with the Janimba normal stuff. All right, so the second card we have is Janimba Lighthearted Destroyer. So this is just a blue card, two cost, one blue, zero for 5k combo. He's a 10,000. His activate main is choose up to one Agent of Destruction card with an energy cost of four that is both blue and yellow from your deck. Play it in rest mode, shuffle your deck, then place this card at the bottom of its owner's deck. So again, getting out, get out of this guy pretty quickly. Uh, turn three, at least. Mm -hmm. And then also put him at the bottom of your deck, so at least you're not putting him in the drop area. All right, so the next card is Bojack Pirates Pirate. Pride. I was trying to say R and Pride at the same time, but it didn't quite work. <laughs> anyway, he's a three drop, one yellow, zero for 5k combo. He's a 10k based. He is a counter attack, so negate the attack and play this card. Uh, permanent during your opponent's turn. If there is a card that is both blue and yellow in your energy, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by two. And the auto when you play this card, your opponent places the top card of the deck in their drop. So more mill goes along great with Janimba. And as long as you have the Resonant Agent of Destruction in your energy, you can play it for one. Not bad. It's really good for 10k attack. I mean, that's it's not bad. A and negate. Uh, yeah, I was about to say a negate in 10k. It's not bad at all. Uh, and then finally, we have, and after that, we do have more cards, but it's just the non-full versions. But we have 4-4, four, four, two yellow and a blue, the Bojack Resonant Agent of Destruction. So you pay one for 10k combo. He is a 20k base. He is blocker. He has a rival blue and yellow. So you pay one yellow. Uh, play this card from your hand when you have blue and yellow cards in your combo area. So you have to be, I guess, in a battle step and you're comboing with them. Uh, which you can play it for once. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, energy exhaust. Uh, this card is placed in the energy area for many. Okay, it's another one of those. I guess all the dual colors probably have that. Yeah. yeah. And then auto when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. Switch it to rest mode. Then place the top card of your opponent's deck into their drop area. So again... A lot of really great additions, and I like that they kind of kept it blue and yellow. This one makes more sense than what Chris is going to go over. I don't understand the color choice for the Saiyans stuff, but yeah. So while he's going over those, I'm going to start opening these so we can get the packs out, and then we can just kind of open the packs for you guys. 
All right, guys, so what we have here is Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta Resonant Explosion. He is five cost, double strike. He is two red, one green, uh, arrival, red green, of course, and he is pay one red. Play this card from your hand when you have a red and green card in your combo area. So that's pretty cool, you know. Seems like you'd get him out pretty cheap and pretty quick. Not too bad at all. Keep him quick, but again, Gogeta. Yeah, it should be blue. Why is it red and green? Red and green. Uh, it doesn't make much sense. I think it should be red and blue. But some or some type of blue it anyway. But uh this is also energy exhaust. It is uh if you place it in the energy area, it has to be placed there in rest mode because I I guess it would be a little OP if you could place it there in active and have a red green open. Yeah. Just to do whatever with. I mean, yeah. But um you kind of it's kind of like how uh, I guess dual lands are like in that I forget what the game called. It's kind of irrelevant now. Um, oh, you talking about uh, uh, magic? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, yeah. even those, there's always some kind of way to be able to play them untapped most of the time. Yeah. So I'm sure there'll be something coming out soon for all of these where we can actually do it. But yeah. I guess because this is the first, you know, little bit of things that we're having that are dual colored. Right. But whatever. Yeah. But uh, it's also an auto when you play this card. Choose up to one card. One of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of four or less than KO oh, it. That's, that's really good. And you can't play Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta Resonant Explosion for the duration of the turn. Next, we have Super Saiyan Gogeta Acrobatic Warrior. Permanent, only one of these can be in played in a battle area. Okay. Uh, and a battle card that is both red and green with an energy cost of five is played in your battle area. Activate this skill. You may play this card from your hand. That's really good. It's kind of like the Bojack one, I guess. Yeah, yeah. When this card is switched to rest mode by Alliance, deal one damage to your opponent. Hmm. That's that's pretty nice. If you really need a game ender like that, this could come in for you. At least he's red. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's red. All right, so we have Super Saiyan Broly Rampaging Rush, and he is Broly BR, of course. Uh, when you play this card, if there is a card that is both red and green in your energy, draw one card, then your opponent chooses one card from their hand and places it in a drop area. This kind of goes along with the old Broly's. The um, original Broly's was Hand Destruction. Uh, when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. And he has a four cost, but I, I'm imagining everybody have seen the, uh, what is it, the one drop can kind of spiral into a four drop Broly. Yeah. So this would kind of go with that. And it does have some fairly good stats. Four cost, uh, 15K. So pretty good card. And then we have a full power Broly Resonant Evolution. And he is, let me see if I can get the light right. He is one red, two green, five costs. He is an X-Evolve, one red, two green, with a uh, cost of four on the X-Evolve. So you could use him on the other uh, Super Saiyan Broly Rampaging Rush. And uh, he has an energy exhaust as well. Put him in the energy area as, or in rest mode. He has an alliance, red, green. So you can play him if you have a uh, red, green in rest mode in the battle area, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, this card gains power equal to the total power of the card switched to rest mode by the skill and triple strike <laughs> for the duration of the battle. Okay. And uh, permanent, if you play this card with Evolve, it can't be KO'd by your opponent. That's a permanent as well. That's not just for the turn. That's that's permanent. That's cool. So I yeah. guess we need to start adding a little bit of red to the uh, Broly decks. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, that's, that's pretty much it for the cards and... And I do like that they're not shattered. I like that they're yeah, actually... Yeah, actually just a regular foil. Regular on foil. Them. Yeah, it's pretty so nice. They do look really good, too. Not as good as those anniversary boxes are going to look. Holy crap. Oh, man, I'm ready to see those. But anyway, so now that we've got all that out of the way, now we can actually open up to some Destroyer Kings for once. Okay. I mean, it's been only 18 years. Yeah. So, Paragus, Golden Frieza, Broly Control Mechanism, Fearless Assault Krillin, Folly Love, Saiyan Duo, Aderade, Excess Cash, New Model Scouter, Boo Boo, Zoin, and for the rare, we got Bobbity Overseer of Destruction. All right. So we have Untapped Power, Super Saiyan 2 Son Gohan, Arrival of the Space Pirates, Golemite, Spirit Sword, Hercule, Preemptive Strike, Son Goku, Kikono, Vegeta, Bujin, Majin Buu. God Strike Beer. So this is a nice one to get because people are using this card now. 
Mm-hmm. And Gogeta, Unparalleled Fusion Warrior. That Pierce looks really cool. Yes. All right, so we got Angela. We got Majin Buu. We got Vegeta. Gohan. More Vegeta. Sun Goku. Hercule. Tien. Fido. Support Attack Trunks. And Vegeta at full throttle, followed by the prodigious... <laughs> Pro I can't even say it correctly because it makes me laugh. Yeah, we got Boo. There you go. Yes. I can't even... Boo. I'll go ahead and throw it up here. Yeah. I can't even say it. Prodigious. Prodigious. Kikono. Super Shenron. The nerfed. Uh, wings. <laughs> Super Shenron. The nerf. <laughs> Rap should be the name of it now. Android 8. Son Goku. Son Gohan, Veku, Full Power Kamehameha, Zeon, Zing. Beto, Ooh, Ooh. and uh, Son Goku, The Adventure Begins. Cheap card. Nobody likes that card. It's not that cheap. <laughs> Since Destroyer Kings is so freaking high, I had to... A... I mean, it's, it's a cheap card to play. Uh, it's not a cheap card to play. Card. It's fair! Why can't I play a, a three-cost vanilla card on turn two? There's nothing wrong with that. Yep. Paragus with Son Goku, the Guardian Angel. All right. Live to fight another day. Paragus, restore the universes. Son Goku, Gokul, Piccolo, a kind wish. New model Scouter, Broly, Master Roshi, Bulma, training buddy Krillin as the rare. Also another not not good card. <laughs> not good. It's not good. Gokua. Wings, Golden Frieza, Gohan, Strike, Goku, Folly Love, Yamcha, Vegeta, Fido, Dabura, and a four star ball. It's not bad. Are we doing um we doing a vanilla Goku deck tonight or something? I mean Uh maybe. That's what it's we looking might like. Be doing that. <laughs> Broly, Folly Love, Vegeta, Golemite, Spirit Sword, Piccolo, Dawn of Evil, Hercule. Super Saiyan Son Goku, and another Gogeta. No, oh, that's two for you, right? Yep. Well, I got some Quick Shift Majin Buu. Probably Control, Super Shenron the Nerfed, <laughs> Goku, Tao, Tien, Spirit Sword, Trunks, Super Dragon Ball, Master Roshi, Hercule, and Bojack the Plunderer. Another super rare. All right. So we got... Angela, we have Majin Buu, Harmonic Energy Vegeta, Hercule, Goku, Wrathful Charge, Bonds of Friendship, Android 8, Yamcha, Boma, God Strike Beerus, Tien, and a uh, pro Prodigious. <laughs> prodigious. Prodigious. <laughs> Majin Buu. Just, just to let everyone know, we're not stupid, we can read words, we're just uh, low-key making fun of people. <laughs> Pokemon? Golemite? <laughs> yeah, Pokemon? We got Barry Blue, that's another Pokemon. The Burrow and Space Pirate Zengaya. I kind of want to make a uh, Bojack deck. What do you think about those? Bojack's pretty cool. Yeah. I like Bojack. Looks like they has some cool combos with him. It looks like he's a lot of hand destruction in the middle as well. Oh, we have two here. We have uh, Majin Buu, the Intensifying Evil, and Destruction Ooh. Rare Vegeta, Agent of Destruction. I forgot all about these cards being in there. No, oh, the Destruction Rares? Yes. <laughs> I don't think they're that much anymore, too. I think they've all gone down, like, anywhere from, what, three to five bucks now? Yeah, the only ones that are worth anything now are what, um, is it Bojack and, Bojack and Janemba? Probably. Yeah. I thought a Vegeta would be worth a little Ooh, more. Training Buddy Krillin. Right. In that pack of crap. Very blue. Son Goku. Hercule. Transcendent Strike. Son Gohan. Son Goku. Trunks. Fountain Spirit. Zangya. Fountain. Majin Buu. Ooh. Ooh. A shiny one. And Majin Buu Intensifying Evil. I like that. Uh, Something tells me that shiny Broly is like some ridiculous like $10 or something. Because you know everyone wants it. $0.10 cent with eight nine nine shipping. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they had this really great deal on shoes the other day, dude. They were a dollar. They only wanted 150 for shipping, though. Ooh, another super for me. 
Finishing nice. blue, Sun Gohan. Even though I don't really see many people playing like the whole Gohan decks or whatever the heck they are. I don't either, and it seems like you could make something work. At least we could. Me and you usually, we don't play tournament stuff. We play like janky stuff that we just like playing. I mean, you gotta play jank. Training Buddy Krillin. Every once in a while I'll pick up like, I'll look at a deck that's meta or something, and then I'll change it around and make it stupid. That's what you got to do. Makes it fun. Hey, is that all you got? Farewell, Barry Blue, Debura, then Gaia. Oh God, that's the second one I pulled and it just still looks. It looks so good. Whew. With Vegito, world's strongest candy. Super Saiyan 3, Goku, uh, Vegeta, Paragus, Goku, Trunks, Vegeta, A Kind Wish, Yamcha, Bulma, God Strike Beerus, Tien, and a mm. special rare mm. Super Shinron. He look, that card just looks, dude, look how good that looks. It looks so nice. Hey. Like, I hope they keep up this whole special rares they've been doing with the black background, like everything, because it looks so insane I, before the set even came out you remember that's like the one i really wanted mm -hmm. just because of the artwork alone still waiting for one of us to be able to actually play that card in the game i don't think we've actually put any that uh, in anything Ooh, got the lord slug agent of destruction you definitely need to make a lord slug deck with all that that you pulled back out of colossal dude so much lord slug and i think i have the the giant leader somewhere too nice because i'm pretty sure i got I mean, let's be honest. I pulled. I opened a lot of uh, fossil. Yes. Yes, you did. A lot. I wonder why they stopped doing the large leaders. Just not something that popular, I guess. I guess not. I don't think many people used them, and I think some tournaments ended up banning them, which oh. is stupid. But. Well, I always considered it more like a collector's thing than anything. Ooh, another uh, super. Ultimate absorbing absorption, <laughs> absorbing absorption Majin Buu. Yeah, yeah. Paragus, Son Goku, Vegito, Krillin, Mercenary Tao, Transcendent Strike, Majin Buu, Veku, Full Power Kamehameha, Zeon, Fount of Spirit, and a four star ball. Yeah, you might as well put that up there because it's worth secret money. <laughs> Is it really? No, not secret money, but super money. Excuse oh, me. Oh, yeah, super money, yeah. Yeah. Restore Bojack, Sun Goku, Gukule, Piccolo, A Kind Wish, Sun Goku, Yamcha, Bulma, God Strike Beerus, and the Bobbity Overseer of Destruction. All right, last pack. So we got Majin Buu, Arrival of the Space Pirates, Gogeta, Ba, Vegeta, Father of Love Saves the Day, another Vegeta, I think that's three this pack, Beto. New model scouter, Broly, Master Roshi, and Chi Lai. All right, so that was that. All right, guys. Well, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown of all the new uh, Unity cards that we got. Uh, I like them. I can't wait to use them. Mm -hmm. And we actually got to open some Destroyer Kings, which is always fun since, you know, as rare. I said, rare that's that rare that you get to yeah. use them. Yeah. But that's all we got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next TCG.